Chapter 7 Measurement Who is the tallest in your family? Which is bigger in your home, kitchen or washroom? Which contains more water, glass or spoon? Which is longer, toothbrush or tube light? Measuring Length We see many things around us. Some are short in length such as paper clip, pencil, pen, etc. Some are long in length such as tree, train, track, etc. We compare objects in terms of their shapes and sizes. The words tall, short, long, etc. are used to compare length of objects. We can measure the length of objects using paper clips, pencils, erasers, crayons and so on. Measuring length by using body parts In early days, body parts were used to measure length. Arm span, hand span, foot span, cubit, finger, Base, etc. were used for this purpose. But measurements taken by these means are not accurate. Arm span, cubit, foot span, base, finger, hand span. Measuring mass. We hold many things around us. Some are heavy and some are light. The words heavy and light are used to compare masses of objects. My home has some heavy and some light objects. Television is heavy. Laptop is light. Television is heavier than laptop. Laptop is lighter than television. Finding weight Look at the picture given below. We place some objects on a weighing scale. The weight of an object tells us about its mass. One potato weighs same as two cubes. Measuring capacity We see many containers around us such as cup, mug, basket, glass, etc. Some hold less amount of liquid while some hold more. Capacity is the amount of liquid a container can hold. Let us look at some containers in our home. A glass holds less water than a jug. A jug holds more water than a glass. The words more and less compare the amount of liquid a container can hold. Note to the teacher. This activity is to be done under the guidance of an adult.